Well, let's mix it up and see how it comes out, okay? It's if supposed to be really sticky and stiff. And if it's not stiff, then we add to that. More flour. Yeah. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, and Mary and I just finished making the King Arthur No Need 100% Whole Wheat Bread. If you guys haven't seen that recipe, I'll put the link to the website down in the description below because um, once in a while I do make that. Um, I have sort of got out of making bread the last couple weeks. Just things have been with uh, Christmas and New Year's and everything. Um, yep, you can add a little bit more. Go ahead. Just a little bit at a time. That's good. Now stir that in. Mary's now working on making her own pizza because she wanted to make some dough. So that's what she's that's what she's working on right now. But I really got out of the um, just the routine of making bread with the holidays and just everything that was going on leading up to Christmas and New Year's. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, it's really amazing how much a couple holidays and activities really can throw off a family schedule. So we're giving it a shot today, trying to get back into something more normal. So I've got the bread going, and I'm going to work on some school with the kids. Mary's pizza's all done. I sort of helped her just finish the kneading just a little bit at the end. She did most of it, but she <laughs> she lost attention. So we just finished that up, and we'll let that rise for a little bit. And the bread seems to be doing actually pretty good in there. I'm not sure if it's going to be done in time for lunch, but... We'll see. Something exciting came in the mail today. You girls can go ahead and open it. Oh, what is this? I think we could just peel the tape off on this one. There wasn't much tape on it. Can you get that? I think it's for, uh, for me and Grace and Lydia. You think it's for you and Grace and Lydia? It is. Let's see what's in it. We're going to do some Mom, astronomy book. in school, and we're Please. going... Mom, this is like Mary's binoculars. It is like Mary's binoculars, which you guys love, so we're going to try it out and see how it works. What do you think? Yeah. That's going to be exciting? Yep. Can we open it? We certainly can. Let's put it together. And the instructions. All right. You think we should read the instructions first? Okay. My first telescope, a working telescope designed just for four to six-year-olds. And then this... Uh, this we have to undo the bolt and then put it through that. You see anything good, Grace? No. No. I think that Art can probably take this um, because he's going out tonight to cap with John. He could take this down there um, with the kids because that's a better viewing area because there's not as many lights there, and they could check out and see what they can see with the new telescope. I think the kids would really like that. In the meantime, we're going to do a little bit of reading up on the moon and the stars and all of that sort of stuff, and I'm going to do that with the girls right now. What do you see, Grace? Um, snow. Lots and lots of snow. Yeah. <laughs> see trees. You see trees? Yeah, big trees. Big trees. It's so big. All right, Lydia, do you want to take a look? Sure. All right. Now, what do you see, Miss Lydia? It's kind of blurred green. It's what? Kind of blurred green, and it's like a huge circle. Oh, really? Can I see? My turn. It's my turn. I see the trees. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Hey! Should we show our viewers what it looks like in the telescope? Yeah, sure. Let's see if the viewers can see anything in there. Um, <laughs> we do that. There we go. There, they can see the tree. Well, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Whoa, it's only been about 10 minutes and my bread's getting big, so we better get this baking. I'm going to toss this in the oven. We're going to let this cook. This is Mary. And we're gonna cook these, and well, it's 11:36, so it might might um, it might not be quite done for lunch, but it'll be close. We were debating about taking a run to the recycler and run all of our errands because all of this that you see is actually donate. We have been working very hard at trying to just 
clear out. I think you guys have seen Art working on that. Where do they go? Um, to the post office. Do they go to the post office? No. Yes, those are for the mailman today. So most of this is going to be donate, and we actually need to go and run our errands. That's actually gonna go back to my parents. Last year, we wanted to be our last garage sale that we were going to do at our home. And so this year, we've been doing all of our things, donating them or finding new homes for them. And so the only downside to doing that is it, and it kind of piles up in the entryway until we can run to the donation center, whether it be City Mission, Salvation Army. It's so high. Did you make it so high? Oh, are we looking at a curtain now? Some of you guys have said before that the purging and the organizing just is a never ending job. So every time that I find something that I don't want anymore, I've been just putting it by the entryway and finding a new home for it. Uh, the last the last couple times we went to Salvation Army, they actually weren't accepting any donations, but my guess is because everybody cleans out this time of year. So we've been just sort of holding on to it because it's stuff that's too good to just throw out. Um, we're just okay holding on to it, but the downside is the entryway looks a little cluttered and Art's been doing a lot more cleaning down in the basement the last couple days. So we're making progress and it's, it's one of those jobs that are never done, but I'm hoping that we're inspiring some of you guys to just tackle a few of those, maybe those problem areas. For us, it's the basement and just to make a couple changes, purge a couple things and work through it. And you know what? You feel so much better about your space. I feel so much better about our bathroom that we organized. Um, I think that was two weeks ago now, a week or two ago. It feels so much better. And even Art said, he goes, I walk in the morning and it's just the mental, you might not see the cabinet, the inside of the cabinet, but the mental knowledge of, wow, that is clean and organized in there, which is just, that's a wonderful feeling when you wake up in the morning. I probably sound like a broken record, but we really want this channel to be an inspiring channel. And it is, it, it amazes me how us as women have the power to either uplift and inspire people or to pull people down. And this channel really is to hopefully encourage you and inspire you through all of my chaos and all of my struggles to inspire you because I'm sharing my real life with you guys. It's so easy for women to just tear other women down. And I would encourage you today to think carefully about your thoughts and if you find yourself thinking of negative about a woman being like I don't know why she did that or I can't believe she does that with her house turn that around and think positively about that person and think of something that you can be thankful for them that they do do well and as a mom of my home I know how my mood goes so goes the entire family and the last couple weeks hormonally I have been struggling with that and I refuse to film for you guys when I'm having an off day because that's not what this channel is about. This channel is not about me spreading negativity amongst thousands of other women. You guys do not need that negativity. So trying to remain positive and upbeat and I'm encouraging you today to change your attitude, change your focus, even if it's just for an hour or two hours and try to be patient be more thankful for what you have and say something kind about someone. Instead of looking for the negative, think something kind about someone and then compliment somebody on that because you can make a difference in somebody else's life by being positive and uplifting instead of being negative. The bread is out. However, I think it's stuck to the pan a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. It's not good. I think we're gonna lose the top on it. Oh well, um, another bread failure. That's just real life. I'm sure it tastes good. I'm sure it really tastes good. Well, I think I was right. That <laughs> did not come out very well. All right, I'm gonna try to loosen it from the pan. I can do it. And cut out the side. We'll see if we can get this out at least in something that resembles a loaf of bread. I mean, with cakes, at least you can do frosting and then frost it and no one will ever notice it. But with sandwich bread, yeah, there's no hiding this. This is, everybody knows that you flopped the bread. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if it tastes good. Mm. Crumble it up. Mm. Yeah. Let's see, what could we make with it? Bread crumbs? Circus, circus, circus. No, circus. we don't want to squish it, yuck. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's try to flip this out again. Hot, 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 hot. 
hot, hot. Oh. Yay, well, that's not quite so bad. Can I lick it? There it is. You guys can have the pan. Go ahead. All right, so we have a top in two pieces and a bottom, well, almost in two pieces. Mom fail for the day. No, actually, we'll make it work. Well, we'll still eat it. And we'll probably put some peanut butter and jelly or something on it. It wasn't my plan to have it come out like this, but we're okay with it. We'll eat it. I just got back from the post office and we got a couple things in the P.O. box. I'm going to show, let the kids open this up and we'll see what we got. It feels heavy like books. We all love books. Yes, it is. What do we have? Ooh, D is for dinosaur, a rhyme and more book. Oh, you guys will like that. Oh, it's by Ken Ham. I wonder if that's the Ken Ham who did the... I wonder if he was the one that did the um, Creation Science Museum. Ooh, germs make me sick. Well, that's a perfect book for this time of year. Here you go, Mary. Ooh, we love the We Sing books. This was all on Bible songs. This is for Lillian. Is this for Lillian? Yeah. No, that one says to Leslie, so that goes to Grandma. Okay, we have to give this to Grandma Grace. Can you put it by the front door? Don't open it. That's for Grandma. Yeah. And what, who does this say for? Janelle. Hey, there's stuff in it. Does it say for Janelle? What's the, what's the front of the envelope say, sweetheart? It says, Janelle, you're right. Inside the envelope are these. And I wonder how many of you viewers know what these are. Do you guys know what those are? Um, Any guesses? Clothes. clothes. Cloves? So they look like cloves. Do they teeth. smell? Hey, maybe shark teeth. You are right, Lydia. How did you know that? She said that when she lived in Myrtle Beach that they used to be able to collect shark teeth on average 15 to 20 a day when you walk the beach. How cool is that? Kind of creepy. I wonder if they've ever bit anybody. <laughs> That's just a bad thing to think. Yeah, we won't think about that. <laughs> Lillian wants in on the action too. She goes, what's in there? What's that one? Clara Barton. Oh, that's a good one for you guys too. Baby Crockett, Peter. Oh, that's for you, Peter. Davy Crockett. Hey, we can sit down and read it together. Thank you. <laughs> that it? What do you guys say? Thank you. Thank you so much, Rosa. You guys... You I know you know how much we love books, and those will be thoroughly enjoyed by the kids. Let's take these books. Yeah, creepy, creepy. Shark teeth are creepy. Dinner consists tonight of beef stroganoff, and then Mary made some breadsticks. So this is garlic breadsticks. We have some peaches, pizza. some seeds. Looks like an orange, green peas, and then a salad. What do you think of the situation, Lillian? She goes, dinner was good. Whoop. He's going down. <laughs> so the kiddos are going to head off to tap. There you go, Lillian. And I think Art's going to take the camera. He's going to use the telescope with the kiddos. And I'm going to work on 31 and cleaning house. I think that's what's on my agenda. So I'm going to turn the camera over to him and let him um, show you guys all of his adventures. Uh -huh. Do you have any exciting adventures planned, Art? Uh, well, uh, I'm trying to get out the door, which is always an exciting adventure. Alright. Okay, well, let's see. What I do you need? need? I need stuff. Do we have a future pianist here? Huh? Do you want to learn to play the piano? <laughs> Look at that hair. It's coming. You're going to have hair. Lots of it, too. John had to bring snacks for uh, Cap, so Charity made some cookies. And she has those with her. And we're also going to make some popcorn. We have the popcorn popper yeah. in there. This is ironic. Charity made me hold the bowl. Are you going to hold the bowl while the popcorn's being made? No, because look, it looks bad. It looks like I'm ready to. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're right. I didn't think of that one. We're looking up in the sky for some, anything to look at with the telescope, but I don't see anything. So, Maybe. I don't know if we're going to be able to use it tonight. I think we are. What do you see? There's something! Yeah. It's slippery out in the parking lot. Hey, Daddy! Daddy! Is Daddy. Peter being silly? Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> it's 
Oh, slippery oh. out. We dropped John off at Civil Air Patrol and we also left Charity and Lydia. They have a few things that they're going to do there. And I came home with the rest of the kids and now Peter and I are going to go down the basement and we are going to clean for a while. We have all my canning jars around and well the good thing is that's the end of them. And it's most of the way sorted out here and I'm just going to finish that. The canning jars proved to be a lot bigger task than I thought they were going to be. But they're almost done and that's good. Peter found an interesting tool. I didn't even know I had this. He asked me what it was for, and I said, hey, it's for uh, uh, opening and closing chains. So he's trying to get that figured out. He also found this cool old antique light switch, and he asked if I was going to get rid of it. I said, no, that's cool. I want to put it in the house someday. So hopefully we can get it installed one of these days somewhere. It was a lot of work, but finally I'm all done. Since we're a large family and we use mostly the quart jars, we're going to give away some extra pint jars and some other stuff. A lot of this is recycle, a lot of this is giveaway. Canning jars are one of those things that are easy to give away, so we'll just put them on the garage sale site and uh, hopefully someone can use them. Now it's time to pick up John from Civil Air Patrol, so I got this all done in the time that John was at Civil Air Patrol. We are going to cap and going to pick up John, Charity, and Lydia. Peter and I are back to pick up John and Charity and Lydia. Good night. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you tomorrow.